Hello, I'm Simon Room. I'm Syntax Audio's Broadcast Sales Manager. In our previous video, we gave an overview about the general possibilities that exist with the Type R. We briefly looked at a couple of scenarios where the Type R could be a valuable solution for remote operation. Today, we're going to dive a little deeper to see what's needed to make this work. So today, we're going to look at the scenario where the Type R core is located at the broadcast facility and the sound supervisor is located remotely. So the Type R core and the rest of the I.O. hardware is located in the same facility as the studios. The control surface hardware is going to be located remotely. The remote setup I'm using in this tutorial includes a fader panel as well as a large soft panel. And these will be connected remotely to the core in another location, such as the main production facility. The control surface hardware must be powered I'm using a switch that includes power over ethernet, which will provide the power for the panels. Next, I have an ADSL router that will connect us to the rest of the world. This is connected directly to the network switch. The final thing I have here is my laptop, which I'll be used to run Carrick Assist as well as for running the Babyface Pro for monitoring the communications. So the remote hardware needs to connect to the location where the Type R core is situated. For this, you need a second ADSL router connected to the internet. If the location is a permanent location, as we said, it could be a, a second production facility, then it's probably easiest to use the existing IT hardware. If the second location is a temporary location, then you're probably going to want some hardware that can actually move with the Type R surface hardware. That's exactly what we've got for the Syntax demo kit. We use an ADSL router with a 4G connection, and that lives in the flight case and travels with the surface hardware. So once you've got all the necessary hardware in place in the two locations, you'll need to do a little bit of configuration work. The two routers need to be configured so that there's a site-to-site -site VPN set up so they can communicate together. For this reason, when you're choosing the IT hardware, there's a few things you've got to be aware of. Both of the ADSL routers need to be able to configure a VPN, and you should also consider that VPN should live separate from the business network. So it's probably best investing in some ADSL routers that have the option to add multiple VPNs. So with the two ends configured, communicating with each other, you've effectively built everything onto a single network. So at this point, the core and the surface hardware should be able to communicate with each other. When you build the VPN at the core location, I recommend you also add in the option for client remote access. This will mean that another authorized operator can have access to the core. So this other operator can live in a third location. He can have a laptop running with Carrick Assist, dialed in, connected to the core. This way he can work as a third location, remote sound guarantee. So now we've established connection between the remote and the home location, we just want to make sure that it's actually usable. So to do this, I carried out a ping test from the remote location back to our base at Synthax. I found a ping time of around 130 milliseconds. The ping is obviously a round trip measurement, which means that the delay from a control input to the core receiving it would be expected to be in the order of 60 milliseconds. 60 milliseconds or 0.06 per second I think is a reasonable lag to cope with when mixing. You've also got to remember that as it's a broadcast mixing console you've got facilities such as auto mix built in that will be able to take over the the mixing of a scenario where you've got a lot of open mics a lot of people talking at once and it really needs a lot of tight control. So with the auto mix active, alongside the remote mixing, you've got a very usable system. So we've looked at how you'd access and control the Type R system from a remote location, but of course this only works if the engineer can monitor what's happening with the audio. So the latency on the ping tells me that while it's possible to operate the console with that degree of latency, it's not possible to set up an audio over IP connection between the two sites. And actually, if you have a GPS PTP Grandmaster at the remote location, that's going to make the remote operation very expensive. I've chosen an RME Babyface Pro connected to my computer in the remote location because 
RME Total Mix allows me to control the audio in my location where the codec controls are extremely limited. So the core in the broadcast facility is also connected to a computer and we've got Source Connect Now running there. So I've got Source Connect Now running on my laptop in the remote location and I can connect to the computer at the core location. So I'll take the monitor outputs from the core and I'll connect them to the inputs of the computer in the production facility and assign this as the audio source for Source Connect Now. So I'll pick that audio up in my remote location. And by using a really high quality audio interface such as the RME Babyface Pro, I can connect the balance line outputs to my local speakers and I can hear the monitoring output. I'll also connect a microphone to one of the RME mic inputs. So my mic is then picked up at the broadcast facility. It can be added back into the Calrec Type R core and it becomes my talkback into that core. So, because you've got the audio codec at the broadcast facility, it means that a, the guarantee operating in a third location can also tap in and pick this audio up so he's also got monitoring. If you're considering a similar solution, then check out some of the other videos on the Syntax YouTube channel where you'll find detailed instructions on using an RME interface with an audio codec. So the Type R offers a solution to the remote operation challenge. It's both workable and cost effective. If you're interested to learn more, then please get in touch through the Syntax Audio website where we can talk through the possibilities or even arrange a demo.